If you're a fan of roguelikes, especially those that can be played in co-op, you'll be wise to jump into the Ship of Fools. Ship of Fools cast as Yonksi, crafting characters setting out on a voyage a Ramsankel boat. Making your own way across the map, you fight against a variety of aquatic foes, using cannons to blast them away and or upset melee attacks should they go get too close. It's combat heavy, of course, and it's not designed to be a walk in the park. Like most good roguelikes, you likely die plenty of times before you make any significant progress. But that's what all part of the fun. Each run will hopefully net you a handful of upgrade tokens which can be used to purchase the permanent upgrades. If you're playing in a single player, you have across two cannons. One only you control and that auto fires at enemies. You need it because it's easy to get overwhelmed. Particularly when your ship is being attacked from both sides, you are in co-op, you still only have two cannons. One for each character. Maybe you both want to man your own cannons or maybe one you will shot while the other is ammo is on melee duty. Working together and coming up with a strategy is absolutely key success in the shop of falls. No run is ever waste because we mentioned about you earn upgrade tokens which we can use to improve your cannons, buy new items, increase your health and more. You likely need to have a decent number of upgrades under your belt before you make any serious progress. You'll see there are numbers of areas to make your way through and each one is booked with a boss fight. There's bosses don't go easy on and you need to go in a prepared. Success feels sweet but it's always hard earned. As you progress, you meet the new characters, along the way you can help out of your mission. It's not until you beat the first boss that you meet the blacksmith who can upgrade your cannons and provide you new ones, for the example. It gives the game a nice sense of progression, there is always something to push forward for and it never gets the sale. Um, that's also helped by the fact, like many roguelikes, uh, the map find yourself navigating in the ship of fools are random. You'll encounter different combinations of enemies, come across random islands with chests, loot or shops, and have opportunity to earn money, repair your ship and more. Different types of events are marked with unique symbols on the map and so you can somehow plan your journey based on what resources would be most useful for you. We absolutely adore the art of style of Sheep of Fools. A hand-drawn animation style, the characters, enemies and environments look absolutely delightful. The color palette is often moot thanks to the murkiness of being out at sea, but it works to create a cohesive atmosphere that really fits the feel of the game. We've been playing on the PS5 and it's silky smooth too, making it an absolute pleasure to play. Attacks, whenever melee or cannon fired are responsible and you know that if you fail to hit an enemy, you only got yourself to blame. Ship of Fools is fun to play in a single player, but in co-op is absolutely shyness. It's clear it's been built with a co-op and in mind and thankfully you can play locally or online. Either way is a lot of fun and teamwork is absolutely essential if you want to succeed. Playing with a friend you know well is definitely recommended over a random. You will need to talk to each other to plan a strategy if you want any hope of coming on top. By yourself, your auto-firing cannon is a lifeline, but you still need to be multiple places at once, constantly reloading cannons, firing them, melee attacking enemies and doing what you can to survive. It quickly gets overwhelming, particularly as you progress to tougher levels. Team 17 has brought us some absolutely fantastic roguelike games in recent years, such as Rogue Heroes and Neonibus. It's also responsible for publishing some excellent co-op titles, including The Overcrude and Moving Out. With Ship of Fools, both genres are combined, mixed together to make an absolutely excellent sea of fairing adventure that we are struggling to put down. This is where we're going to be dipping into for many months to come. Thank you for watching, don't forget to comment and subscribe, have a good one, bye bye.